in general relativity, specifically in the Einstein field equations, a spacetime is said to be stationary if it admits a killing vector that is asymptotically timelike. In a stationary spacetime, the metric tensor components g mu nu display style g underscore mu nu may be chosen so that they are all independent of the time coordinate. The line element of a stationary spacetime has the form I J equals 1 2 3 display style I J equals 1 2 3 D S two equals Lambda D T minus Omega I D Y I two minus Lambda minus one H I J D Y I D Y J Display style DS carrot two equals Lambda DT Omega underscore I die carrot I carrot two Lambda carrot minus one H underscore I J die carrot I die carrot J where T Display style T is the time coordinate Y I display style y caret i are the three spatial coordinates and h i j display style h underscore i j is the metric tensor of three dimensional space. In this coordinate system, the killing vector field. She mu display style she caret mu has the components she mu equals one zero 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 Display style she carrot mu equals one zero 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 lambda display style lambda is a positive scalar representing the norm of the killing vector, i.e. lambda equals g mu nu she mu she nu display style lambda equals g underscore mu nu she caret mu she caret nu and omega i display style omega underscore i is a three vector called the twist vector which vanishes when the killing vector is hypersurface orthogonal the latter arises as the spatial components of the twist four vector omega mu equals e mu nu rho sigma she nu rho she sigma display style omega underscore mu equals e underscore mu nu rho sigma she caret nu nabla caret rho she caret sigma 
see, for example, p. 163, which is orthogonal to the killing vector. She mu display style she caret mu ie satisfies omega mu she mu equals 0 display style omega underscore mu she caret mu equals 0 the twist vector measures the extent to which the killing vector fails to be orthogonal to a family of three surfaces. A non-zero twist indicates the presence of rotation in the spacetime geometry. The coordinate representation described above has an interesting geometrical interpretation. The time translation killing vector generates a one parameter group of motion g display style g in the space time m display style m by identifying the spacetime points that lie on a particular trajectory also called orbit one gets a three-dimensional space the manifold of killing trajectories v equals m g displaystyle v equals m g the quotient space each point of V display style V represents a trajectory in the spacetime M display style M this identification called a canonical projection pi M V display style pi M right arrow V is a mapping that sends each trajectory in m display style m onto a point in v display style v and induces a metric h equals minus lambda pi g Display style h equals lambda pi asterisk g on v. Display style v via pullback. The quantities lambda display style lambda omega i display style omega underscore i and h i j display style h underscore i j are all fields on v display style v and are consequently independent of time thus the geometry of a stationary spacetime does not change in time in the special case omega i equals 0 display style omega underscore i equals 0 the spacetime is said to be static by definition every static spacetime is stationary but the converse is not generally true as the Kerr metric provides a counterexample in a stationary spacetime satisfying the vacuum einstein equations r mu nu equals 0 Display style r underscore mu nu equals zero. Outside the sources, the twist four vector omega mu 
display style omega underscore mu is curl free mu omega nu minus nu omega mu equals zero display style nabla underscore mu omega underscore nu nabla underscore nu omega underscore mu equals zero and is therefore locally the gradient of a scalar omega display style omega called the twist scalar omega mu equals mu omega display style omega underscore mu equals nabla underscore mu omega instead of the scalars lambda display style lambda and omega display style omega it is more convenient to use the two hansen potentials the mass and angular momentum potentials phi m display style phi underscore m and phi j display style phi underscore j defined as phi m equals 1 4 lambda minus 1 lambda 2 plus omega 2 minus 1 Display style phi underscore m equals frac one four lambda caret minus one lambda caret two plus omega caret two minus one phi j equals one two lambda minus one Omega display style phi underscore j equals frac one two lambda caret minus one omega. In general relativity, the mass potential phi m display style phi underscore m plays the role of the Newtonian gravitational potential. A non-trivial angular momentum potential phi j display style phi underscore j arises for rotating sources due to the rotational kinetic energy, which, because of mass energy equivalence, can also act as the source of a gravitational field. The situation is analogous to a static electromagnetic field where one has two sets of potentials, electric and magnetic. In general relativity, rotating sources produce a gravitomagnetic field which has no Newtonian analog. A stationary vacuum metric is thus expressible in terms of the Hansen potentials. Phi a display style phi underscore a a equals m display style a equals m j display style j and the three metric h i j display style h underscore i j in terms of these quantities the einstein vacuum field equations can be put in the form h i 
J I J minus two R three Phi O equals zero Display style H carrot I J Nabla underscore I Nabla underscore J two R carrot three Phi underscore O equals zero R I J three equals two I Phi O J Phi O minus one plus four Phi two minus one I Phi two J Phi two Display style R underscore I J carrot three equals two Nabla underscore I Phi underscore a Nabla underscore J Phi underscore a one plus four Phi carrot two carrot minus one Nabla underscore I Phi carrot two Nabla underscore J Phi carrot two Where Phi two equals phi o phi o equals phi m 2 plus phi j 2 Display style phi carrot two equals phi underscore a phi underscore a equals phi underscore m carrot two plus phi underscore j carrot two and r i j three display style r underscore i j carrot three is the Ricci tensor of the spatial metric and R three equals H I J R I J three Display style R carrot three equals H carrot I J R underscore I J carrot three the corresponding Ricci scalar. These equations form the starting point for investigating exact stationary vacuum metrics. Topic See also Static spacetime